What's up guys, Keenan from Keenan KTV here. In this video, I'm gonna do a film study on Khabib Nurmagomedov, mainly focusing on his striking. As we know, Khabib Nurmagomedov is the best wrestler on the planet, in the UFC, in the sport of MMA, whatever you wanna, you know, call him. We all know that his fundamentals are wrestling, but I wanna focus on the striking part in this episode of a fighter study. And then when I take a look at Conor McGregor, I'll take a look at his wrestling. With that being said, I'm going to start by looking at his fight against Michael Johnson. A lot of people have said that in the Michael Johnson fight, he got lit up. And to an extent, that was very true. The Michael Johnson fight was a fight where Khabib actually came back from, uh, you know, some surgery, some time off. And even like prior to fighting Michael Johnson, he fought a unranked fighter. So... Khabib really needed that, that fight against a contender that had some name value. And Michael Johnson was definitely that guy since he knocked out Dustin Poirier a fight prior. Going into that fight, Michael Johnson was already known for having very, very, very fast hands. As he knocked out Dustin Poirier with a very quick right hook, left hook, whatever it was, and dropped him and finished him. We would definitely expect that the hand speed of Michael Johnson would play a major role in that fight. Come to find out in that fight, Michael Johnson is also a southpaw, right? Khabib realized this. I don't know, you probably already knew, but in, in the ring, in the octagon, it was more uh, noticeable that the southpaw stance was something that Khabib doesn't really deal well against. It seemed like in that fight, at least. The reach was uh, an inch shorter or almost equal to Connor's, so the jab was already playing a major role in that fight. The main thing that the people talk about is when Khabib tried to close in a distance and he got hit with a left straight down the pipe. And he got hit often with that, actually. And the, the general consensus is that if Connor can hit you with that, well, guess what? You're going to get dropped. In my opinion, that's a, that's a talk for a different day. Let's just focus on the Michael Johnson fight first. In the Michael Johnson fight, he tried to do what he has always done. Pressure his opponents into backing up against the cage. And from there, he takes him down. But Michael Johnson had pretty fast hands and feet. Early on, he was able to move away from Khabib most of the time. And as Khabib was trying to look him for an opening, he just was ending up on the tail end of Michael Johnson's left hand punch. He stayed very composed and knew what to do. He just knew that, okay, he's very fast, but he can't knock me out. And ultimately in that round, he finally got him down and he started to maul him. In the second round, however, Michael Johnson completely changed his approach to the fight. He was a lot more intimidated and he was a lot more gun shy. That is what Khabib Nurmagomedov does to you. He makes you worry about the takedown that is always luring, the grappling opportunities that he can capitalize on. So he always makes you worried about that. And that is especially what happened against Ally Quinta. But I'll get to that in a second. So because he was a lot more worried in the second round, Michael Johnson didn't throw the punches that he did in the first round. Not that they were not working, but he was worried about the takedown that was always luring. And from there, Habib got to fight into the ground and finish the fight. Now let's take a look at Edson Barboza, right? In the Edson Barboza fight, he tried to pressure Edson Barboza, get him against the cage, and get it to the ground and beat him up. That is what happened. But yet again, as he was trying to close in the distance, he got hit with a, with a spinning hook kick that didn't land flush, but he was still open to that. And it makes me think, if Khabib is open for a spinning hook kick as he's trying to close in the distance, what would that be for a much faster Conor McGregor straight left? It is a very, very worrying thought for me personally, because if Barboza can find an opening to spinning hook kick you, then be sure that Connor can land that straight left hand. And again, and that's a Barboza fight. He went in there, he tried to pressure him, he followed him around, flying knee, get it to the cage, take him to the ground, repeat. But let's take a close look at the Ally Quinta fight where he has shown more striking than ever before. The reason that's why we saw a lot of striking from Khabib in the Ali Quinta fight 
is because of that Ally Quinta was immediately going low into a sprawl position where you can easily defend the takedown. Now that caused for one, a lack of head movement from Ally Quinta's part and also the opportunity for Khabib to exploit that and use his, use his jab. Now in my opinion Ally Quinta did not expect Khabib to use his jab as he did Rather than him for him to go for takedowns, he just did not go for takedowns. You know, he got he got a couple takedowns early on. But I realized, okay, if this guy is so much worried about my takedowns, then I'm just going to exploit him with my jab. And Ali Quinta, with being low in his sprawl position, really got out jab throughout the entirety of the fight. There wasn't really much that he could do. Yes, Ali Quinta was still dangerous in the fight. But ultimately, Khabib came to a point where he can dominate the fight on on either standing up or on the floor and that is very rare in the Khabib Nurmagomedov fight it never really came to that point for Khabib right it was always him winning the fight with his with his grappling but in this fight it was much so differently he realized that he can exploit him he realized that he can jab him about and he decided well okay I'm gonna I'm gonna just use my jab because I'm gonna be winning the fight regardless you see that is all that I needed to collect about Habib. I can go into detail and I can, you know, slow the fight down and commentate what you know whatever happens in slow motion, but that is just draining out the content. If I can give you the bottom line, then that's really what is the most important about the video. Now I'm gonna give you guys what I think um, is gonna be really necessary for him to adjust in the fight with Connor. His trainer Javier Mendez realizes that Habib is you know, up against a very masterful striker in Conor McGregor. He realizes that Conor is not a joke. He is a very masterful and great manipulator of distance, timing, and just knows whenever to do and whatever. He is a very technical and precise fighter and he's a very, very smart fighter. He's probably one of the smartest fighters in the entire division. It is a very worrying thought to have that Habib's most takedowns come from him grinding out his opponents against the cage and getting it to the ground and from there it is hashtag Khabib time. But knowing how Connor is with his distance and he's a great manipulator of the distance, he's a great baiter, he has amazing reflexes, great tremendous speed, it really doesn't need to be a full full blown exhaustion from Connor's end. If Khabib is being obvious right with his takedowns and what he's trying to do with just coming forward connor is going to wait on him to do that if connor can wait and bait him all he needs to do is slip in a left hand shot here and there frustrate him like micah johnson was doing and from that point on we're going to see khabib in uncharted territories not only is connor mcgregor probably the hardest hitter in a division right just because of the precision the timing he's just he's a very very solid fighter overall i mean Saul is just an understatement he's an excellent fighter so if connor knows this then all he needs to do is just date what he needed to do against eddie alvarez now eddie alvarez had a lot more confidence in his hands and that could have also been his downfall right he probably relied on his hands to get in close and underestimated connor's skill for timing and understanding of range in my opinion khabib is not underestimating connor but that is not going to be changing the fact that he's not going to be enough with the skills that he has to close in the distance just the way it is right now like i said in the beginning it is a very worrying thought of seeing khabib just coming forward and personally that is why i believe connor is going to come out on top i do not see a way for khabib to close in the distance effectively enough and consistently enough to where you can tire out connor and just beat him up it is a very weird thought right Seeing him against Michael Johnson, Ally Quinta, Barboza, it is every everything is on repeat besides Ally Quinta fight, but that was really a given, right? Ally Quinta was basically, you know, going low and saying, Okay, Khabib, just hit me in my face. That it was like in the Khabib like in Ally Quinta fight, Khabib showed that he could be comfortable with that, but you know, Connor's not going to be going low. Connor's not going to be, you know, standing low. Not like he's not going to be bent. He's going to be standing up straight. He's going to, he's not going to be giving inches away from his height. He's going to be spreading out his hands. It's going to be a lot of range for Habib to cover. It's a very tough fight for Habib. 
But once he can get in there and find a way to do it, because Javier Hernandez, Daniel Cormier, I mean, Luke Rockhold, Kane, if he's even part of his camp at the moment, right? Everybody is such like world and high class level fighters that they should come up with a way for him to close in the distance, right? That is what I think. But what he has shown in the past doesn't match what I, you know, what I with what I just said, right? So you never know what type of fight this is going to be. And that is what is exciting about the fight. I truly cannot wait for the fight. It is probably the fight of the, the MMA century. And uh, it's probably going to be the biggest MMA fight of all time. And I just cannot wait to see it. Leave what you guys think of the video in the comment section down below. How do you guys expect Conor McGregor to get taken down by Khabib Nurmagomedov? How do you see Khabib Nurmagomedov closing the distance on Conor? Leave it all in the comment section down below. As always, I'm Keenan from Keenan KTV. Signing off. Later. One thing that I forgot to address is the fact that Habib is always the type of fighter that would go forward. He would always be the ring general. He would always be the, the aggressor. And against Conor McGregor, who is always trying to come forward himself, it is going to be really interesting to see who is going to be taking the first stab backwards. But as shown in the Ally Quinta fight in the opening round, we saw Ally Quinta putting the pressure on Habib, and we saw cracks where Habib would get fainted, and then his chin would be up in the air exposed. So can you imagine? Conor McGregor pressuring Khabib against the cage and he faints him going low and then high, high, low, high, low and then Khabib just exposes his chin. Won't you expect Conor to crack him with the left in the, at that point? I don't know. But one thing is for sure, it is going to be a great fight. Thanks for watching everybody. As always, I'm Keenan from Keenan KTV. Signing off. Later. Uh